So welcome, my name is uh, Harm Jacobs or Jacobs, it depends how you want to pronounce it because actually I'm Dutch. I'm going to try to do it in English, so I'm sorry if some things are not right or I don't know it or I pronounce it wrong. Dus uh, I can no answer give as you not uh, that clear English uh, speak. Yeah, that's uh, too bad. So what I'm going to do, I'm uh, uh, going to make some hoof knives because, uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, you have like all kind of different hoof knives. Like uh, these are the last ones I used. These are from uh, Werkman. Uh, they are left and right. We use them to clean the foot and to cut out the frog. As you see, they are bended. One to that side, one to that side. What we're gonna use? We're gonna use a, a hoof rasp like this. And we are going to use a piece of uh, a stable, like the, the wood. Who's there? We will ask the questions! Because it's really hard, I like the color, I like the wood. But anyway, um, so we start with the, I started with the rasp. I uh, use this part of it because this is like uh, flat and then uh, yeah because it's really tough it's really hard uh, I will show you yeah, why I put it like this because uh, normally there is a uh, handle on to hold them and um, yeah then they also in the air maybe not this high but yeah we have to make it a little bit nicer and um, yeah after I'm also gonna stand on it you see it's not not bending nothing. You have to imagine when six or seven hundred kilos is going to stand on it. It's going like even in three pieces. This is my friend, Macho. Yeah. cool down now and now we are gonna flat with flat it with a sanding disc decide how and what we're gonna do with it oh yeah we know it but how we're gonna shape it and have to put in the blade holder and do in the handle do in the handle Shadows through the ocean 
Now the blades are uh, like uh, quite in the shape I want them. Of course, we still have to make them sharp and everything. We have to make them nice. Then, uh, yeah, the first thing we're gonna we're gonna use like two uh, heat treatments. The first one is gonna hard it, and then we're gonna temper it. Uh, while we're gonna hard it, the name is saying it, it's going hard and getting harder. So we put it in the oven and the forge still. That's a getting. I didn't measure it, but thousand till eleven hundred degrees red and then uh, we're gonna put it in uh, oil or water i use oil because it's a little bit slower and after that uh, we're gonna put it in a normal oven we're gonna do it in less da than an hour but we put it in the oven for two hours on an, uh, 200 degrees I'm, uh, am i saying it right i guess yes <laughs> But uh, on uh, 200 degrees, and in that process, we make it tougher. Like uh, it has to be hard, but we also have to be able to make them sharp and let it stay sharp. And uh, yeah, so this is helping me that with it, I guess. No, but it's uh, yeah. Believe me, trust me. I'm an engineer. No, I'm not an engineer. But trust me, Google said it. So these are now the, the hoof blades, the blades. So yeah, it's gonna be really tough to use them like this. Well, no fuck. So uh, we have to make handles. And actually, I'm used to these size of these shape of handle because yeah, yeah. Look how good. Look. So um, I actually want to make the same new ones. So I was going to use, like I said, the, the hardwood. I'm gonna cut it out with a deco peerzaag. I don't know what's the English word for it. 
and then I'm gonna shape it with the with the rasps. Uh, why I'm doing this like in this way because this all the time really late and my uh, belt grinder like for the hand is uh, at my sister's place and my belt grinder in the car is as making a, a, lo a load of noise. One difficult thing was um, difficult. One challenge was to uh, put it in between here because uh, yeah. I didn't want to cut it uh, to the whole uh, handle, so I only had to do the circle uh, saw, and then so I used my workmate and uh, uh, clamped it between, used a metal strip, measured it, and then in the middle, and then uh, yeah, it fitted. So we're now like two days further, and uh, yeah. Always fun with uh, when you film with a phone. Uh, yeah. I have one tip: if you buy an iPhone, just buy the biggest one you can find because I really like buying two terabytes of iCloud. It's not working because your phone, in my, in my case, is not fast enough with uploading, so the phone will be full anyway.
So maybe I'm gonna do more, maybe not. Actually, I did it already, but then I never did something with it. Um, I will say uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.